Wild Horse Studios and today I'm going to do an unboxing video of the new 70th anniversary stable mates and these are all the ones that are miniatures of all of the traditional scale models um, that just came out. I just got my box in the mail today um, and you can see it's completely sealed. I haven't touched any of them yet. I have seen them. Um, so I have seen them in person. I did get a couple of individual ones already um, that I have opened, but now I got my whole box. So I'm just gonna go through these. Um, I'm just gonna go down, down one side and then down the other. Um, which means I usually have like several in a row of the same one, but that's okay. Ta-da! Got a whole bunch of them. So excited. Yay! So yeah, I'm just going to start down on one side and then go right down them. Alright, so the first one we have is the Missouri Fox Trotter in a flea bitten gray. And like, uh, one of my co-workers at Stone has already started repainting one of these and she painted it to a Palomino and uh, she's still working on it, but like, they are so cute and they're so nice and like, the little scale. I don't really even care for this one in the big one, but I kind of like them in the stable mate scale. Let's see if I can keep them somewhere. There we go. So then, going down the line, there's another Missouri Fox Trotter. Um, and the one thing that we noticed on these is that the mini Missouri Fox Trotters don't have um, any of the ribbons on the side of their necks, like the big ones do. And Probably that's just for ease of painting them when they're the little ones so that they don't have to worry about painting the braids on them. And now I have an Indian Pony in the uh, vintage chestnut pinto color. And the Indian Pony is so cute. The Indian Pony is just cute anyway, but like even cuter tiny. And then we have another Indian Pony. There we go. I didn't even pay attention to how many are in here. I just, I just put it up. And a wood grain Clydesdale. Now this one I haven't actually looked up, looked very closely at. Um, he's really kind of cool. Like the wood grain on him is really pretty nicely done. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it very well, but um, it's pretty nice looking. I'll be excited to see this one in um, some other colors too, but he looks really nice in the wood grain. There we go. And another little wood grain Clydesdale. And here we have, ooh, a charcoal fighter. I love these. I have my big charcoal fighter just on one of the shelves over there. And like, I, I love the charcoal fighter big anyway, but he's even cuter, tiny. Yeah, tiny charcoal fighter. Oh, he's so nice. I like him so much. He's in good shape too. Some of these, because they're in blind bags, get kind of uh, scraped up. Um, more so it, if you, like go to a store and buy individual bags because people tend to feel them around. Um, but yeah, more little charcoal fighters. Yay. Like I've seen so many people that are already making mini me's on these and I have a couple mini me ideas that I'm going to do. Um, but it's, it's a little smart chick. Little bitty smart chick. Smart Chick is one that I want to definitely do at least one or two mini me's on. Um, but he is so cute. <laughs> like the, the one thing that we noticed though is that once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's that the mini Smart Chick compared to the big Smart Chick, his front left leg, the one that's on the ground, um, is shorter than what it should be. Um, and so now every time I see it, that's, that's all I can see. But um, you can fix that when you go to customize them, but I still really like him tiny. He's still just so cute. I love the big smart chick anyway, though. Um, 
that's a mold that I was congating for a while and then I kind of took a break on that one. Um, but I still really like it and I still have everything that I had conged before. So we have another smart chick. So far we got two of a whole bunch of them. So maybe they didn't put them all in one line because I know that there's supposed to be more than two of a couple of these. Now we have a third smart chick. That's the first one we've gotten three of so far. So three smart chicks. And four smart chicks. So we have one more. Four little smart chicks. And then starting on the other side now, I have, what is this? Oh, it's a little Emma. Oh, she's really cute, tiny too. And it's a stallion, the mini version of the stallion. Um, but yeah, he's really cute, tiny. I love the little Highland Pony, and this is like the same size as him, so. Now where am I gonna put him that you can see him? <laughs> He's so little, he just doesn't stay in the frame very well. I'll move the fox trotter over and then maybe you can see him there. There we go, that'll work. Just barely, just barely in the frame. So, there we have another little Emma. I couldn't remember if I held out the other one or not, but little Emma. There we go. And a third little Emma. And most of these, like, the duplicates, I like buying whole boxes, especially when they're all new stuff like this, because um, I'll use the other ones as repaints. Um, especially, like, this one, I can tell, I you probably won't be able to see it, but it's got a scrape down its back on this little copy of Emma. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it does. Um, so yeah, if you end up with one that's scraped up, not a big deal. I'm just going to paint it. So yeah, so far we got four smart chicks, two charcoal fighters, two wood grain Clydesdales, two Indian ponies, two fox trotters, and four Emmas. So that means we still have um, the Croy, Brishin, and probably some duplicates of the others, and chase pieces, if I have any chase pieces. So, whether I will or not. Who knows? I don't. Oh, there we go. We got a first Croy. Little mini. Little bitty Croy. She's really so cute, tiny. I love the big Croy, but, uh, tiny Croy is even cuter. Where can I put Tiny Croy? I'm running out of space in front of the box. Oh no. Here we go. We'll just squeeze Tiny Croy in there. I want to make mini movies on the Croy mold too. I brought, I have a couple of my big ones that I brought home to make mini movies of. But yeah, there we go. Another little Croy. And a third little Croy. And here we have a fourth little Croy. So I've got four left. And here we have Mini Brishin. The regular little mini version that looks like a little uh, solar. So he's got kind of a pearly mane and tail too, kind of like the big solar does. Put you down there. I'm gonna knock one of these over if I'm not careful. And we have another little mini version, little tiny solar. Another mini version. And so now we have one left. That's it. The last one in the whole box. So it definitely feels like a version. So what do you think? Is it gonna be a regular version or is it gonna be a chase version? 
because the chase pieces for this set are, I've seen them, there's a platinum version of the Brishin, and there's a blue um, speckled version of the Indian Pony. Those are the two chase pieces. Um, and there are two for this box. One is a regular chase and the other one is like a super rare chase. And this one is regular Brishin. So no chase piece in this box, but that's okay. Like I, I don't know, I've seen um, the chase piece of the Brishin in person and he is like really shiny. Um, my friend from work bought a whole box and she actually managed to get two of the platinum Brishins in her box. Um, which I don't think anybody else has gotten that. Um, I've, and I think out of the two, cause there's a, uh, regular chase piece that's in one out of four boxes. And the other one is in one out of 12 boxes. I think I can't remember exactly what the number was, but the, um, I think from what I'm seeing that the platinum version of the Brishin is the more common chase piece. And then the blue speckled Indian pony is the rarer one. I don't have anything to confirm that. That's just based on what I've been seeing based on what people are getting. Um, but we're still very, very early. People are just now, you know, getting their boxes and everything. So uh, I now have all of mine, my whole box. No chase pieces, but that's how it goes sometimes. Um, that is, you know, not every box is guaranteed to have chase piece anymore. It used to be when you started and now they don't. Um, but that just makes finding the chases that much harder and that much more fun to try to find, right? Um, so I will sit here and pick out which ones I'm going to keep for my uh, stable mate collection that's taking up the wall over there. And um, then I'm going to keep the others as repaints. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing video of all my littles. Um, I'm going to go through them all really quickly up close so that way you guys can kind of get a better view of them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.